Ordinary timekeeping is closely linked to the apparent position of the sun in the sky. Local time is a kind of solar time. Around midday, the sun reaches its highest point in the sky. Local time, measured according to the sun, differs between places at different longitudes. Fifteen degrees of longitude makes a difference of one hour. Universal time is the time at zero degrees of longitude and the basis of all civil time. It's used by astronomers and is the same everywhere in the world. The zero longitude line was chosen to go through the former observatory at Greenwich, England. The Julian date is the number of days since noon at Greenwich on the 1st of January, 4713 BC. It changes at noon rather than midnight. Because it ignores changes of year and month, it's useful for calculations. In practice, countries adopt one or more standard time zones to avoid confusion. In summer, Many states and countries change to daylight saving time or summer time, so the evenings seem lighter. Clocks are advanced one hour in spring, then put back one hour in autumn. Astronomers also refer to sidereal time, time measured by the apparent motion of the stars. A sidereal day, the time it takes the celestial sphere to turn once, lasts 23 hours, 56 minutes, and 4 seconds. Sidereal time coincides with universal time once a year at the vernal equinox. A sidereal day is shorter than a standard solar day because of the Earth's daily travel along its orbit round the Sun. For the same reason, the stars visible at night change from season to season. The tilt of the Earth's rotation axis causes the seasonal changes in the duration of daylight and the weather. <laughs>